In this video we are going to focus on finding the radius given the volume of a cylinder. Sometimes you are required to work backwards from volume and find the radius of a cylinder. To do this you must solve using an equation instead of a rule. So I've got a question here it says calculate correct to one decimal place. We've got our diagram, we've been given the volume and the height. So this is the volume, this is the height. So V height and the radius is our unknown. So first of all we're going to write the volume rule. Volume equals pi r squared times height. And then we're going to substitute in the values that we know. So we know that the volume is 21.21 21 equals pi times r squared, we don't know that yet, times the height of 3. Now from there we need to do some rearranging, so watch carefully. We want letters on the left and numbers on the right because this is now going to become an equation. So I'm going to take the r squared and place it here, put an equal sign, a fraction line, this 21.21 .21 sits on the top and the rest of it goes underneath. So pi times 3 and that has to go in a bracket. So I'll just quickly show you again. Because we want letters on the left and numbers on the right because it's end up going to end up being an equation, we put the r squared because that's what we need to find out and that has to go on the left hand side for letters on the left and for what we're trying to solve. This number gets switched over here on the top of a fraction line. And what's left over falls underneath and goes into brackets. So now we continue based on what we have here. So if we punch into our calculators 21.21 .21 ABC fraction line bracket pi times 3 bracket equals we are going to get this number 2.2504508895. From there, because we have r squared, we need to take that number now and we need to find the square root of it. So we put that like that and we put this number underneath here 2.250. 450895 R equals and we get this number 1.50015000291 and now we need to round because it's asked us to round to the nearest one decimal so I take my red pen I place it between the first and second a decimal places and I underline the looking number. The looking number here is zero so it's going to make it very easy for us. The radius equals 1.5 because this tells us that this number 5 doesn't change. It is meters so it is 1.5 meters. So we have just discovered the length of this radius and if you wanted to check your work you can work backwards and you can use the new radius you've just found of 1.5 Calculate it with the height of 3 and you should come up with this 21.21 .21 meters cubed. So it's quite different compared to calculating the normal volume of a cylinder. So essentially what you need to do is write the normal rule for volume of a cylinder. Substitute in the correct values. Obviously we don't know what the radius is yet. When we get to this line because we need to discover and find what the radius is and we also want letters on the left because it is becoming a bit of an equation, we then take this r squared and place it here. We couldn't continue calculating with the letter over here. This volume gets swapped over onto the right hand side where numbers need to be. It's on top of a fraction line because the opposite multiplication is division and then we place what we haven't used underneath in brackets. When you calculate that, you can do this all in one move on the calculator. 21.21 ABC fraction button bracket pi times 3 bracket equals and it will give you this. Because it's R squared and we want to find R on its own, you find the square root of this number 
we get an answer and then we round according to what the question is asking us to do. Here is a second question to focus on. So we're going to do exactly the same thing we just did before. We are going to take the normal rule, switch it around and turn it into an equation. So the first thing we have to do is write volume equals and the normal rule of pi r squared times height. Our second line is substitution. So we then change the v for volume for what we already know here, which is 273.70 equals pi times radius squared. We don't know what the radius is just yet. Multiplied by the height of 8 because this is our height. We continue to work down the page. Now we have to do some swapping around here. In the third line, we take the radius out and we place it on the side, on the left hand side. We want letters on the left and numbers on the right. So because we are trying to find the radius, radius must now stay on the left hand side. This volume, we now are going to put the number over here. So it's 273.70. And the opposite of the multiplication is division. So that's why we've got division here. And what we haven't used, we're going to put underneath in brackets. So pi times 8 bracket. Now remember, pi is actually standing for numbers. So don't get confused by thinking well, letters on the left, numbers on the right. What's this doing here? This actually is a number. It's a button you're going to use on your calculator that represents a very long number. Now we're at this phase here, we can start to calculate. So you get your calculator and you're going to punch in the calculator 273.70 ABC fraction button bracket pi times 8 bracket equals and we write the answer out completely and that is 10.8 Eight nine zero one seven six nine eight. We haven't finished there because it says r squared. So in order for us to find r, we have to find the square root of that number. So we simply copy that number down. And in our calculators, we go square root button, put this into your calculator equals radius equals three point three. 0, 0, 0, 2, 6, 8, 1, 5. Now the question is asking us to round to one decimal place. Again, lucky for us, it's not going to change the answer. So I've separated this first and second decimal point, underline the looking number. The radius is going to be 3.3 because it doesn't change. We are dealing with meters. So now I know that this radius here is 3.3 meters. If I substitute that back in and calculate the volume, I should come back to this number.